What's up everyone? So currently it is December here right now, which means that Christmas is kind of just around the corner. And although uh, Japanese people don't really celebrate Christmas, they do tend to have a lot of festivities around it. That includes Christmas markets. So in this video, I'm going to head around to a couple of the Christmas markets around the city and I'll show you guys what those are like here in case you guys are ever interested in coming during Christmas time. The very first one is going to be at Hibiya Park and I think that is the largest one. So let's get started there. currently made it to the park and the lines here are huge there are a lot of people and a lot of waiting so hopefully i'll be able to get in on time and then hopefully i'll be able to get food as well so this is supposed to be the largest christmas market in tokyo and honestly on the map on paper it didn't really look that big but actually in person it's way bigger than i thought it was going to be and there are also definitely a lot of people here right now made it inside the Christmas market now and the line actually went by really fast we just kind of walked through um yeah I think I'm just going to explore around the market a bit first and then I'll see if I can find some food to eat currently in line for food and the lines are quite long uh, I think a lot of the stalls actually sell the same things they sell some wine and then they sell some sausages as well but I don't know what the difference between the products are. I don't know if each of these shops specialize in something different, but they also do the same thing. So I just picked one and I'm just waiting there for the food now. So I got the first round of food items and it is basically just a couple of sausages. And I also got a mixed uh, berry blue wine. Um, I'm most likely saying that wrong, but yeah. So I think this is basically just a spiced wine and they put some berries in it. it smells very alcoholic. You know what? Let's try this one first. Oh, actually, not that bad. It's pretty alcoholic, but it's not really all too bitter or tannic. It's actually a bit sweet and I really like the berries in it. So this is actually really nice. So now let's try these sausages. There are three of them on the plate. I don't actually know what each of them are, so I'm just gonna eat them. Hmm. This one is actually really good. It's corky, it's salty, it's got a really nice snap on the casing on the outside. I'm assuming that none of these places actually make their sausages themselves and they just probably buy them already pre-made and they just grill them on the grill when people order them, so I don't know if I should give the stand credit for it, but this is actually a really good sausage. Yeah, there's a really nice snap from the casing on the outside. It is slightly dry on the inside but it's still really tender i really like it a lot and then let's try the uh whiter one here so i actually went to germany once and one of my friends got a sausage off the menu that she didn't know what it was and it came in this little wooden bucket of water and there are just these two really white pale sausages inside of it it looked really interesting and kind of unappetizing but this one looks slightly better because they grill it instead of just boil it i don't know if it's the same sausage or not but this one looks more furry and maybe chickeny than the other one just because it's white on the outside and it's not pink yeah let's try it No, oh, this one's also actually really nice. At this point, I don't really know what meat it is, but it is slightly herbaceous. Uh, it's kind of lemony too. It's also got a really nice snap on the casing on the outside. It's really tasty. It's also just as tender as the other one. So I'm guessing that maybe it's the same manufacturer as the last sausage. And then this is the last sausage here. It kind of looks pretty similar to the first one, except this one is a lot juicier than the other ones. There was like a pool of juice around this one, especially compared to the other. So I'm hoping that this one is juicier. Um, yeah. Okay, so this one actually kind of tastes like a mix between the first two. It is very meaty as well. It's also a lot smokier than the other ones. It's pretty herbaceous as well. It's got some herbs in it and it's also slightly spicy too. It's still got a really good flavor to it though. I really like all the sausages so far. So actually I forgot to mention, but the Christmas market, I think it costs uh, 1,500 yen for adults and then 800 yen for children. And when you buy a ticket, it also comes with this uh, cup here that you can use at the stands. You're supposed to bring this up to the stands or stalls whenever you buy a hot drink and they'll fill it with that. So I guess the price of the market is actually worth it because you get a free cup with it. And you also get to enjoy the 
livelihood and then also the music here as well. Okay, yeah, I honestly do not drink very often and usually when I do drink, it's a really, really sweet cocktail because I don't like the harsh, bitter taste of alcohol, but this one is not very bad at all. I think it was much better when it was hotter or warmer. It's definitely cooled down a lot now because it's pretty cold outside and I had to say wandering around a bit try to find a seat because it's very crowded and a lot of the tables are actually really full so yeah As you can probably tell, it's gotten really dark now, but I finished the sausages and then I went to get more food. So I ended up getting the schnitzel and then another wine. So this here is the orange uh, glue wine. I think that it is going to be pretty similar to the berry one, except it's just a different fruit on the inside. But yeah, I guess we'll try it. Oh, okay. So the orange one is definitely less sweet than the berry one. And it's also honestly very acidic and slightly bitter as well. I really like the berry one a lot more than this one, but this one is still not very bad. Um, I don't really think that it tastes as much like alcohol as the other one though, so this might actually be better. But yeah, let's try the schnitzel now. I'm actually pretty excited for that because I really like schnitzel. I think it comes down to the fact that it is just a fried cutlet, which is very good in my opinion. So yeah, let's see if it's any good. There's some mushroom cream sauce on it. They give you a waffle fry, which I'm really excited about because I don't think I've seen very many waffle fry places here. I really like the waffle fries at Chick-fil-A, even though they're kind of not crispy. I bring back home and I usually just bake in the oven a bit. So I am excited to be seeing waffle fries again. And then there is a single spear of asparagus as well. So this is the cutlet here. Mm, the schnitzel is actually really good. So the cutlet itself is actually quite tender. It's still really crispy on the outside, even though I had been walking around a lot because there were still no seats. That's really good that it's still held up in the weather. And it's also very lightly seasoned, um, but let's try the mushroom cream sauce now. Oh, that's very mushroomy, very earthy. It's not bad though. I feel like it's pretty good. I feel like it goes really well with the pencil. Okay, and then this is the uh, fry here. I mean, the fry is quite good. It's honestly very, very cold, but it's still really crispy. And I don't think they really season or anything, but it's still nice. I dropped it. got to the uh, hot chocolate drink. It took me two hours to get this. It was a really long wait. I got the set, which comes with the hot chocolate drink. And then there's also two uh, baked pastries. There's one cookie and there's also a cake. Mm -hmm. Whoa, this is really good. There's a really deep, rich chocolate flavor to it. It's honestly not all too sweet either. And it's also slightly thick. It's not really that watery. And I also really like the addition of the chocolate shavings as well. The chocolate shavings, there's white chocolate, milk chocolate, and dark chocolate. So you get a lot of really good chocolate flavor in it as well. This overall really good. And then the set also comes with these two kind of pastry things. I think this one is like a little chocolate cake. And then the other item here is just a chocolate chip cookie. They both look really good. Um, I think I'll eat these later though. I'm gonna keep exploring around the market and see if there's Anything else that catches my eye to eat. So yeah, I would definitely recommend the hot chocolate. It was actually really good. The line might be a bit long, but I think if you wander around the market for a bit and come back, then it'll shorten up afterwards. back on my dark little adventure because I could not find another seat at the tables but I uh, got a third cup of glue wine. Bruh. This is the strawberry one and it said that there was strawberry jam inside of it which was really interesting because I really like strawberry flavored things and it smells really good. It smells really strong your strawberry so I'm excited to try this one. Mm. Yeah, this is really good. There's a really strong strawberry flavor to it. It's also honestly quite sweet, but you can still taste the alcohol in it. It's really nice. I think I ranked this one probably the highest among all the ones I had so far. Probably this one. The second one is probably the berry one. And then the last would be the 
orange. I've also honestly never been a really big fan of hot drinks, but I feel like hot wine is really good, especially in this weather right now because it's really cold. So I think at this point I am all out of food to eat. Uh, nothing at the other booths really spark much joy. So I think that I will probably look at some of these shops and then I will head back home. I spent a little bit longer walking around, but I have now officially left the ground, so I cannot return unless I pay another 500 yen. So yeah, I think I'm gonna head back home now. All right, another day, another Christmas market. So right now I am currently in Yokohama at the Red Brick uh, Museum area, building area, and then this is where the market is held. So I'm currently in line to get into the market and the line is honestly quite insane. It snakes around a lot of the outside uh, ground area. But I guess in all honesty, it's moving pretty quickly. It's just a lot of people here. And I think a lot of part of that is due to the fact that today, the day that I'm going, is the last day where it's going to have a free entry. So starting from tomorrow until December 25th, you have to pre-book your ticket online and they'll cost 500 yen. So maybe that's why there are so many people here right now. Yeah, I'm almost by the entrance, so let's see what it looks like on the inside. I ended up getting more food after these sausages. Um, I wanted something fried, but it looked like they ran out of the schnitzel. So I ended up getting the fish and chips, which is honestly not very Christmassy or German, but... It's fried food and it's still pretty good. I actually quite like the fries, but I have not tried the fish yet though. And then I also ended up getting a strawberry hot beer. I'm not a big beer fan, but I am a big strawberry fan and I've actually never had a hot beer. So I'm excited to see what it tastes like. Oh. Okay, so it's not terrible. I think the fact that it's warm is strange to me though. I actually do kind of like the strawberry flavor in this, but it does taste overtly like beer, which I am not a big fan of. So it's okay in my opinion. Um, I would not go for this again, but I would definitely go back for the strawberry wine. That was pretty good. I tried a bit of the fish and I am not the biggest fan of the fish. It's pretty dry and it's also pretty tough as well. Um, I guess I should have not had very high expectations for fish and chips because I think most of the places here they sell sausages and I think that was actually pretty good. But yeah, maybe I should have stuck to the more German fare instead of the other kind of like kids foods. So some information on the Christmas market itself. So it's located in Okama, so it's an hour away from Tokyo. And I feel like this one is actually pretty big. I feel like the space in general is bigger than the one at Hibiya Park in Tokyo. I haven't really walked through most of the um, shops or anything yet, but I've been through most of the food stalls on this side. And I feel like the offerings at the one in Tokyo at Hibiya Park, that one was probably wider than this one, just based off of the handful of stalls I've been back so far. Also, I think that the prices here are honestly kind of more expensive than the other ones, so yeah. Also, this Christmas market is way, way more crowded than the other one, but I think that's because I came on the free day, so people are just coming in and they don't really limit the capacity because when you do have to reserve tickets online, they do sell out, so I think that's how they keep the amount of the admittance uh, lower 
But yeah, right now there are a lot of people. It's very crowded. It's really hard to find a seat at a table. And then lines to get the food are also quite long. I think they're like maybe 30 minutes to an hour. But I'm sure that it'll be much faster when it is actually during the reserved ticket time because there's gonna be less people during that time as well. I don't really know what was going on at the park. Uh, apparently there were illuminations or something like that. Uh, I don't think it was particularly for Christmas, but the dates kind of coincide, so it's pretty cool. They had a light show there. I don't know when it ends, and I'm not really too sure if it's like a recurrent thing, but it's you should definitely check it out if you're ever in the area and it's still going on. At this point, I have left the Christmas market. It was not too big. Um, there were definitely a lot more food options than the Hebea one, and there were definitely a lot more people, so I didn't really want to stay too long because it was just really crowded and there was a long wait for everything, so yeah but I think this is like one of the older Christmas markets. They have it every year. So usually if you want to check it out, then you should definitely come back next year. So another day, another Christmas market. So this one, I don't really know much about. I got to Tokyo Station. I was just walking around and I saw a bunch of lights. So I'm heading there now. And I think there is a like tiny market or street park there. So yeah, let's check it out and see what it's about. There's not very much going on at this Christmas market. I think it's just more for the vibes and aesthetic, but there are very little stalls for actual food or things like that. I mean, I guess that makes sense because they don't really even market this place as a Christmas market. It's just a street market. And I guess they just decorate up everything very nicely. There's a lot of Christmas trees, a lot of Christmas lights. Um, and there aren't really very many places to eat or things like that. There are other restaurants in the area that you can check out, but there's not really many like street stalls. The market itself is located in a pretty commercial area, so there are a lot of shops nearby. So if you want to come by and do a little shopping and then go check out these scenes, then maybe that'd be good. I think right now I'm heading over to the Rapunky Night Market. I ended up going to the uh, Christmas market in Rapongi Hills and honestly this is definitely the worst Christmas market that I've been to so far. I've been to like 95% of the Christmas markets here in Tokyo. This Christmas market is just so small and so packed. The lines are so long and I don't really think it's worth it for me to wait in line and try to get inside so I don't think I'll be going to it but it did look pretty nice on the inside because this area is also where a lot of the money is and this is also where a lot of foreigners are so I think they Definitely made a bigger effort to have make it look nicer here. But yeah, I mean, I didn't imagine that if you guys come earlier in the day, then it would probably look less crowded, but probably because it's at night and people want to drink, that's probably why it's uh, more crowded right now as well. All right, so I just left and I do still need to find dinner, but since I realized that I'm so close to the location, um, I'm gonna get some Cinnabon right now. 